everyone welcome back to my channel I have got I've got a hand <laughs> I actually got myself a silicone hand I've been after one for ages and I finally did it and this is the one I've got now this is a hand dolly from Kelly Maskell and she is available on Facebook so I shall leave her details in the description box for you but as you can see it looks pretty cool so it comes with the nails on already the only thing I've done is the the nails were a bit longer than this that's why she's covered in dust is because I filed the free edge down so that um, they were a bit shorter which would make it easier for me to then sculpt with her so I'm going to zoom out a little bit and show you how dinky I mean just dinky this hand is compared to my huge man hands one second all right so can you see that wait oh my god it's so dinky look at the nail beds look how huge my nail beds are compared to those teeny weeny little things oh my goodness my big man hands look at that my hands look huge kelly your hands are dinky <laughs> it's all tiny but yes I got this in the colour tan because I wanted it to be a bit like my own skin tone um, but this they come in all different shades so you got from fair skinned right up to dark skinned and I'm hoping to get one of the dark skinned ones as well because I think that would look really lovely for photos so yes in the new year um, but mind you, it'll be probably be New Year by the time I get this video up. Um, yes, I do want to get a dark skinned one as well. So, let's give you a nice close up. You see all the detail. Oh, look at the detail. Oh, that little dinky thumb, look at it. My thumb looks huge. <laughs> All the details there. I mean, there are a few bubbles, but not. Let's see if my camera will focus on them. Come on, camera. It's yeah. You can see it there. There we go. See some bubbles, but they're not. They're not a huge problem because it's on the back of the hand. You don't, you don't see that in the photos anyway. You don't see the bubbles on the front of the hand, or should I say, the back of the hand. So that's not a problem. But I'm just so impressed with this. Now this has got a hole in it because you can actually buy a um, clamp to put your hand on and clamp to your table. So it's like an an arm with a clamp on it and it will hold your hand up but I'm not, not bothered about having one of those to be honest because I just plan on using my little hand rest and just going like that with it really so yeah I'm really looking forward to having a, a play with my hand dolly now I you can choose between left hand or right hand I went for left don't know why just did this is a poseable one so it's got wires in the fingers so that you can actually bend them how you want them and they'll stay in place you see that so if you wanted to literally put like a crystal or something in it and pose it you could that's pretty cool or if you want them flat you can do that too. At the time I bought this one, it was £50. And that was on offer, so 
I think that's a really good price for a full hand, you know. I know a lot of them, they're a lot more expensive than that for a full hand. She sends it with some nail guards, which I think is a brilliant idea because then you can pop the nail guard on, put your gel or acrylic on, and then when you're finished you can pop it off and these uh, nail beds would stay on then and you can just keep reusing it over and over without having to file it all down or soak off or what have you. But she does also send a little Prezi which is really cool. I've got some glitter from Phoenix Glitter Supplies. Do you see that? A pretty glitter. That would be nice for a springtime set, actually. Um, some super glue gel glue. Can you see that? Super glue gel. So apparently you, you need the, the gel super glue for these things. And that comes with the nozzle and the lid. And also some spare tips, which is really cool. So, yeah, thank you very much, Kelly. I'm really, really impressed. Um, definitely going to go for a dark-skinned one for photos. I think it will look beautiful. And I am going to go away now and have a play. Yes. So yes, I'll come back and show you what I get up to. See you in a tick. I'm just sizing up the nail guards to the tip. Make sure I get the right size. And then sticking that on. So you stick it on, you pull off the tab, and then you can cut it to the right size. Or you can file it. It's up to you. I just cut them. And I'm using a nail form because I'm going to sculpt. So I'm just getting that nail form rolled and ready. And you see that I'm, here you are, you can see what I'm doing. I'm cutting it to make sure it fits underneath the nail well. And fighting with it slightly because stickers do not stick to silicone <laughs> so the struggle is real I did have to have a fight with it a little bit but I got the hang of it eventually <coughs> this is attempt number one I actually do three attempts in this video so get a cup of tea or coffee sit back relax because it's a long one so I was determined to get the hang of it I really wanted to get the hang of it and this was the first time trying to use this hand I had not attempted it off camera at all so you're seeing the real deal here I'm just making a nail bed at the moment I think I'm using Nao's natural beige shimmer for the nail bed not that that's really relevant for this video but just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> We're adding my back bead to the cuticle now. And you'll see me faff with the free edge. So it's dried now. Well, it's hardened enough for me to be able to file it and remove the form. So I decided to shape up the free edge a bit because I had gone a bit overboard with the clear base. And now I'm shaping my... Oh, I keep losing my words. So I'm shaping <laughs> the nail bed. <laughs> extended nail bed yes shaping that up making sure that it's going to be nice and crisp <laughs> dust it all off and I have a little bit on the side missing there I did think about putting the form back on and then I decided not to bother because I could just use a dryer bead and just fill it in so that's what I did and I have no idea where I removed that first bead I think it was a too dry this marble I 
wasn't happy with. Didn't like it. I think it's because it was just two colours and it just wasn't enough contrast. Wasn't happy with it either way. I'm just going in with double dipped beads. Quite wet. Swirling them a little bit into place. A little bit of padding. Trying not to over mix them. And now I'm capping with clear. I'm only capping the free edge, not the nail bed. I'm oh, sorry I'm out of shot a bit here. There we go. So, as you can see, that nail is now missing. <laughs> After it dried, I looked at it and I was just... I didn't like it. I really just didn't like it. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to start again. Because I can. <laughs> so, I started again. Back in with another nail form and course it's not going to stick so I'm going to just hold it in place with my fingers <clears throat> excuse me I think I can wrap some tape around the fingers and then the form should be able to stick to that so I might try that next time we'll see it wasn't the end of the world to hold it with my fingers though it can be a little fiddly but see I turn it the hand the other way around so I can see if the nail is straight well, there's no nail there, you see it before me straight. That's what I was trying to do anyway. So I've got my clear and I'm going to make a nice base. I realise I don't need to use clear base because it's a silicone hand, it's not going to stain, it's not going to be, you know, a finger that's in use by human but I like to just keep things the way I would on a human to just keep the routine going you know I think that's important well it is to me I'm just holding my brush up towards the knuckle down to see if the form was straight using my pinching tool give it a wee pinch now that it's set up enough that it won't collapse or smoosh and it has so I've taken the form off and I'm going to file but I have discovered that it is starting to move so I stopped trying to file the, file the um, ends and went in with a marble and as you can see I didn't like the way that went <laughs> so I swiped that down off the nail <laughs> and um, decided to go in with another bead well I've tri no I'm not triple dipping am I no I'm just placing three beads on that's what I'm doing yes one two three yes I can count <laughs> I'm placing three beads on giving them a little swirl trying desperately not to over swirl but what I did do was put far too much acrylic on. My beads were way too big, way too big. So as you can see, this nail is rather bulky on the nail bed area, especially. Three edges, not so bad, but the um, yeah, nail bed area is rather bulky. So I will have to attack that with the file once that's dried and the acrylic is set so I'm going in with the hand file and as you can see the nail came off the nail guard just you know it just peeled off with the nail guard so I decided to go in with my e-file because the hand file was obviously far too vigorous I'm a bit heavy handed clearly <laughs> So yes, I will just e-file that sucker. 
And as you can see, you can e-file, not a problem. It does feel a bit strange though, because silicone kind of wobbles. It's it's weird. It wobbles. It's, obviously, it's it's not a real hand, so it doesn't have that quite that firmness. But I think that's something you'll get used to as well. By the third one, <coughs> excuse me. By the third one, it I knew you know how it was going to feel, so it wasn't such a surprise to have that sort of weird feeling, and it wasn't a problem anymore. Well, it wasn't a problem in the first place, but you know you know what I mean. I've got my sanding band and I'm just smoothing that nail over rather than using the hand file, like I said, because otherwise the nail's just going to pop off. Yes, I did have to file quite a bit. Got there eventually. So dust it off in with an wipe with alcohol, clean it all off, get the last dust off and in with the good old top coat. Now that marble actually is quite pretty. Quite happy with it, it's just a shame the nail was so bulky. Let's get the nail cured. Cure that. So there it is, it's all cured and obviously it's just very easy to remove and it's ready, the hand is ready to just Go again! Excellent! Brilliant! Love it! So of course, here I go again! <laughs> well, why not? Like I said, I told you, it's going to be three goes. It's going to give it three tries. So this is my third attempt and I am just customising that form a little bit more. Get it to fit well, so I cut a little well out of the top and then Obviously I cut my little cat ears, I call them cat ears, I don't know, little slits on the sides so that I could get a nice shape in the form, make it nice and tight, nice and curve. And I applied my base layer, I didn't bother really showing you that again because you've seen it twice already. So yeah, I'm shaping that up now and I'm trying a new shape. This is a shape that I have never done on myself. So I thought, you know what, I'll do a stiletto. I never do them. Why not? I can. It's not on my own hands. I don't know, I'm just not into the pointy pointy, but it's a very popular shape. Very popular shape. So as you saw, I filed that, shaped it all up nicely. And I shall go in with the design, which will be just a basic design. This is a pink that I mixed up myself. Um, it's really pretty pink. I'll apply that. I'm just doing a glitter fade on this this nail this time. There's my glitter going on. It's so pretty. It's got the um, oh what's it called? Gold gold leaf, I think it's gold leaf in there. Well, they're gold pieces that look like gold leaf. Maybe it's just glitter. Yeah, it is glitter because they're actually thicker than gold, gold leaf, so yeah. And in with the clear to encapsulate all of that lovely glitter. Don't want to file that off. That one, that first bead couldn't make it all the way down to the tip, so I did another one. And I'm just showing you the side profile there. It was a little bit flat, so I added one more bead. My stomach is rumbling. I hope you can't hear it. So this is the glitter acrylic I was using. I thought I'd show it just in case somebody was curious. It is Ford from Ink London. And we're filing again. This nail didn't actually need too much filing, thank goodness. It was a pretty good shape. So it was just refining, really. I just went straight in with the sanding band just to smooth it over. It didn't need much filing. It's 
crazy. I take so much time to do my own nails, but if I'm doing it on someone else, it doesn't take me as long. It's really bizarre. Like doing that nail didn't take very long at all. Yet if I had have done that on my own finger, Lord have mercy, that would have taken me forever. In with a little buff and then brush it all off. Clean it with alcohol on a wipe. In with the top coat and reveal that glitter look at that. It's so pretty. So this attempt went way better than my first attempt. Um, which was this one and I had a bit of trouble with it sticking on well it just came off and I had to file it holding it like this as you saw so this worked out a lot better I don't know if it's because the way I applied the nail guard was had less overhang on the first one I had a bit more overhang that I folded underneath the nail this time and I didn't press so much with my thumb so I didn't get oils on it so much. I think that helped it to stay on a bit better this time. And my camera's struggling to focus on this glitter. But yeah, this definitely worked out better this time. Let me put this towel there because it's focusing on the background instead of the nail. There we go. So yeah definitely worked out better this time. So I'm going to peel it off and it should come off quite easy I hope. Oh no! This time <laughs> It stuck too well because it's peeled off the nail. <laughs> oh, I can't win. It's either going to peel off too quickly or it's going to peel off the nail. Let's see if I can get the nail off so I can glue it back on. <laughs> Blooming typical, isn't it? Can't win. Aha. Well. I shall glue this back on to the hand. <laughs> Never mind. It works though, so I suppose you have to be a bit more careful. This is the nail guard underneath, it's not my application. Just so you know, all these bits on the end, that's the nail guard, not my acrylic. Anywho, yes, so. That was the nail I did. You can see uh, some people have trouble with apexes. If you have a look at the angle of it, you can see it's even all the way round and the apex is there. You've got a nice apex in this area. That's the kind of thickness you want your nails to be. Now if you look at my nails, mine look thicker but that's because I actually have hooked nails which means they grow down and my natural nail beds are, are much higher so mine always look chunky but there's nothing I can do about that. My natural nails are just hooked and very high nail beds. Anywho, so this is the lovely hand dolly and if you want one you can contact uh, Zeta or Kelly Maskell who actually makes them and I will leave both of their details in the description box for you. Now this hand is well worth the money. You can see it looks realistic. Um, I do have some of the colour coming off in a few places. But I know that if I was to contact Kelly, she would let me send it back and she would she would fix those areas for me, no problem. Now, I don't mean that she would just do that for me. She will do that for anyone. That's, that's just how her customer service works. She's a lovely lady. And these are, compared to like the 200, 300 hands, 300 pounds, should I say, hands, this is just an absolute bargain. It's like, it's under 50 quid. 
you can't go wrong. You really can't. It's wonderful. So you're doing a great job, Kelly. Thank you ever so much for making my, this hand for me. She makes them in all different colours. You can go from light right up to dark. And I do intend on getting the chocolate brown one. So, yeah, well worth the money. You want a silicone hand? Contact Kelly. Definitely. She's she's brilliant. She makes them all to order. So you do have to have a little bit of patience because, you know, she is doing it on her own without, you know, she doesn't have a whole team of people or anything. So you do have to wait a little bit for it. I had to wait for mine and I, have some patience. It's, you know, if you're not willing to wait, then obviously don't don't bother. But if you've got a bit of patience in you, go with this. It's well worth the money. It's so much cheaper than anywhere else. And they are made really, really well. So well done, Kelly, babe. You are smashing it. I'm so happy with this. I can't tell you over the moon with it darling and I will be getting that chocolate brown one soon so thanks ever so much take care peeps that's all I've got for now and I will see you in the next one bye <laughs>